hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is grace sorry i sound a little funny i think it's kind of obvious why today i am filming my post-op appointment to get my cast off get the splints out and for them to laser off my bruising i guess so i just put on an outfit i've literally been in like a t-shirt all week because i've just been laying around my house so it feels good to be enclosed. My stomach's kind of hurting. I think it's because I had cereal for breakfast and I never eat cereal and I never eat milk. So I think the milk wasn't the best idea, but <laughs> that's besides the point. So if you are confused on this video, basically I have a whole bunch of other videos, a little series from me getting my surgery. Little rundown, I had to get sinus surgery because I had a lot of breathing issues for like years on years. So I got my turbinades reduced and my sinuses. And yeah, just got some stuff done up there. So while they were already going up there, I was like, well, if you're already going up there, you might as well do a few cosmetic things. So they fixed like a few minor cosmetic things. If you're gonna hate click off now I don't even know why you're watching this video but if you are in a similar situation where you're either getting a rhinoplasty or you're getting a sinus surgery like me then hopefully these videos are of use to you but yeah I am getting ready to go my appointment's at 3 15 and it's 2 15 right now but my brother actually has an appointment before me and his doctor's like in the same building as mine so we're just going early so here's my little outfit real quick sorry if you hear music it's my brother but uh this top is from american eagle i've had it for a few years and then these shorts are from princess polly they're just like they're just like the cinched kind so that's my little ootd i finally put back on my necklace and my earrings because i just had it had them on since we couldn't wear them in the surgery i will see you guys in the car Just a little gentle pulling. There we go. It's a splint. See, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna take a peek. Oh wow! And that's what's been sitting up there. Um, you still have some bruising here. Uh huh. And if you want Nancy to. Um, Get after that. She can hit it with a laser. Are you recording? Yeah. Okay. Let me. I'll try to stay out of the way. Okay. And, uh -huh. um, that kind of breaks up the little blood pigments and gets it look a little better, a little quicker. problems with tape normally? Uh, I don't really know. Not really, I don't think. Okay. But I have sensitive skin. Yeah, you do. It's sensitive. But that's okay. That settles down pretty quickly. As I mentioned to you, Nancy was there protecting you from me. <laughs> you had your braids in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> was the surgery center good with you? Yeah. It's funny because my mom told me like they called you called her to tell her they were running late and I was like acting silly or something. And I was like, I do not remember that. You were acting <laughs> silly? Yeah. <laughs> I guess I don't remember that. <laughs> you were really acting silly, but <laughs> all 
So you can take a look from the side. You're a little bit swollen right along in here, and even right here, that'll come down a little bit right there. The tip also drops just a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit. You can see that you're narrower here. Now that will fill out a little bit. As this swelling up here drops down, this area that has been compressed by this splint, which was kind of like a cast or a tourniquet, this will fill out a little bit over the next couple of days. This will settle down. This will get a little bit uh, more swollen. You remember how wide it was yeah. though. So it won't be quite that narrow. It'll fill just a little bit right there, okay? okay? But the, you know, the cast has been sort of like a tourniquet there. Let's get rid of this bruising a little uh -huh. bit more. You can do a little gentle massaging like that after she's done, but that'll, okay. that'll settle it down. Yeah, that was really good. Okay. Uh -huh. Now be careful with these darn bones because they can move around a little bit, okay? I can uh -huh. feel them moving. <laughs> uh -huh. All right? Yeah. Okay. Any questions? Um, I did have one. How long do you recommend until like, you start wearing sunglasses and that type of I don't want you to wear sunglasses for a while, okay. five or six weeks, because what will happen is you'll put them up here and they'll put little indentations. And sometimes they can even be permanent or semi-permanent indentation. So we've got to be very careful about anything resting on your nose. And that includes the uh, masks. Uh -huh. So if you wear a mask, make sure it's really not doing much on your nose, not really putting any pressure and you know, not a, a pinched um, nasal bridge metal piece like we wear. Yeah. Okay. Would you like some pictures? Sure. You're going to use the nasal cord that's over the counter. Okay. The instructions are on there. And then I'm going to set you up for another post office appointment okay. in, in about two weeks. Yep. You're going to do that until he tells you to distance. Okay. So, you can see the yeah. tip is a lot narrower now. And uh, the little bump is down there. You'll really see a difference on the tip uh -huh. there and um, get your pictures back there. And I think that <clears throat> one place you'll notice, you see how when you smile, it was turning down, and you're not gonna see that nearly as much yeah. now. You're also just a little bit shorter. This projection is a little less there. Perfect. All Thank right, you, you bet. So just remember, over the next couple of days, you're gonna see some changes. You are a little irritated. You're a little red and swollen from that tape, so. I don't think you're allergic to it. Just be aware that you are a little sensitive okay. in the future. So band-aids and things like that. Um, <clears throat> I'll see you back 10 or 12 days. Yes. Okay. Call me if you have any questions. Okay. You're done with nausea and all that though. Yeah. Or as you can tell. Yeah, it was only the first day. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. You bet. We'll see you in a little bit, 10 or 12 days, and you're going to mm -hmm. zip zap. Have fun. Thank you. All righty. All right, that brings us to July 14th, that's a Tuesday. All right, so I'm gonna put little stickies on your eyes to protect them, and then a little gel, and then we're gonna use the laser. It feels like a rubber band stamping. Okay. Um, if it's too much, we don't have to do it, so just let me know. Okay. I'll start with this side, because it's less bruising, it'll be less painful. Okay, okay. thank you.
leaving my dad still? No. Oh, okay. No. If he wanted to, he would take it when you're here, but no, you're good once okay. the cast comes on. Okay, you guys. So got the cast off here's like the right after they did the laser as you saw and it didn't actually hurt i think the laser like was the hardest part and i don't even think most places do that him taking the swims out wasn't any worse than the covid testing like it wasn't that bad oh he sprayed some stuff up to probably like clean it and that kind of was like uncomfortable but it's whatever but i think it looks so good obviously it's still really swollen right now as you guys heard him say and the bones are still super like movable so you have to be really careful but here's what it looks like right after i'll do a better shot later but yeah and then i also have this glue stuck but i can breathe out of both nostrils it's just you can tell they're swollen up there still and i'm still really scared to like move my mouth because mouth pulls that your mouth like will pull on your nose so i'm like afraid to do that but i'm literally so afraid i'm gonna like hit it or move wrong or do something like that now that the cast isn't on he said no sunglasses for five to six weeks which for me is like a little difficult but it'll be fine i'll just like wear hats and stuff and then i can't really wear a mask out because he doesn't want it to be like pushing them down on my nose yeah you guys heard everything else he said though the tip's gonna come down a little bit this part is still pretty swollen like as you can see well actually you can't even really see i think it looks good i think it turned out as far as like cosmetic i think it turned out really good can't wait till i can like smile and move my face and once the bruising goes down i have an appointment in two weeks so yeah we're at rubio's we're gonna get some mexican food and eat and i think it looks so good really done. Oh, God. right i'm i'm laughing i can't laugh kind of narrow that's the whole point but is it gonna is it gonna get a little bigger on the sides it's kind of skinny it looks great oh it looks good it, he said it's gonna fill out a little oh, good. bit yeah, but it's also a... swollen at the oh, same yeah. time yeah what about your black eyes they did the laser uh, how long before it goes away i don't know it's already starting to lighten okay what's the grace I'm gonna be doing a whole nother video once the bruising's gone, Q&A type thing or whatever, whatever you guys want to see. So make sure to follow me on my Instagram because I will ask you guys questions over there. Like I said, it's still super swollen up my nostrils, so I can't really tell like how the breathing is working, but I can already tell he definitely fixed my problem because it's not like alternating. I'll be able to see, obviously, as time goes on. It takes like a full year to technically heal. It's also really, really narrow right now, which I don't really mind, but he said it will probably set in. I don't really know what he said, but you guys heard it. It'll like set in. I don't know if this is gonna be the end of this video or if I'm gonna like pick it back up and show the final results once like my bruising's gone. So at least you like have a little bit better of an idea where I'm not like all bruised up. So it is currently Friday. Um, I'm still obviously a little congested like and swollen up there and my my bruising though has gone down i feel like so much on this side okay bye so i just wanted to give an update on my nose and everything like that so it's been exactly a month now since my surgery date but it's been about three weeks since i got my cast removed so i'll just show you kind of what it's looking like so here's the front view my tip is super swollen still and he said that's the last thing that's gonna go down for, as far as the swelling but here's what my slope so that's kind of what it looks like i'm obsessed with it and i think it's gonna look so good um it's gonna be changing so much throughout the next few months just because the swelling is going down which is totally normal so yeah i just thought i would update you guys real quick since it's been a few weeks since i got my cast removed and show you what it's looking like i also wanted to say my breathing has gotten already like so much better i'm breathing fully like 100 percent on my nose now and it's still i'm still getting like gross snot blowouts because i can blow my nose like now but i can breathe out of it so i think it looks really good for being three weeks my eyes like 
the bruising is basically gone they're just like dark circles now i would say and like when i do my makeup you can barely tell so yeah um maybe i'll insert like a picture of me with my makeup done so you guys can see that but yeah that's that i'm obsessed with my breathing already and obviously my nose i just can't wait for the tip to go down a little bit more because it is still pretty swollen but i think it looks so so good i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you're new subscribe down below follow me on my instagram and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys